What is happening, heroes? Three in here of time here, presenting you with Vanilla Double Scoop. I am here with Matt. Hello. And uh, we've done a lot since the last episode on the Vanilla Double Scoop server thingy with Bobber. That is a ringy name, I'm not going to lie. Vanilla Double Scoop? It's ringy. What does ringy mean? Like, like it... You know, it flows. It's got a good know? ring? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Vanilla nice. Double Scoop. It's pretty good, right, guys? All right. Uh, so, um, I've actually done a lot of work since the second episode. Uh, you may have seen some of the in the beginning of the second episode, all that thing, all that stuff. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, tell me if you like some stuff being done already when you get here. Or if you, I don't know. If you don't like this as much as, like, stuff being done completely on camera, then let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. It's going to take me a little while to show you everything, actually. And I'm going to start with the bad. So um, I went... I needed some sticky pistons. So I made a slime farm. This is a really small one, all right? Not a big one. And I made this slime farm in slime chunks. I checked it. It's slime chunks. It's at 40. And I even went below 40. And there's a cave down there. And there's no slimes in the cave ever. Like I mean, I waited until there was a waning moon, a, a waning moon, a waxing moon, a full moon, a new moon. I know they don't come out on new moons, so but I tried the new moon anyway. Are and, you serious? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. I tried all those things, and uh, uh, I've been playing a lot since we last recorded. <laughs> anyway, so the thing is, I've never been able to build a slime farm that works like I've been able to build them and where like you'll have a slime or two coming up you know every time you go see it you have one or two slimes but like I see all these other people with these slime farms that have like they go to them and there's five huge slimes in it and I have like two medium slimes so if you guys have any advice for slime farms they never work for me it must be me because on every server or anything I've ever been on they've never worked um, so let's do a little inventory uh, you saw in the beginning um, I did some enchantments. Actually, you haven't seen that yet, uh, so I need to let you sin see that uh, before I show you what they are. You see the pickaxes, so uh, let's go ahead and go to Caleb from the past. All right, guys, I'm about to make the first enchantment on the server, and it is, of course, going to be a level 30 enchant, as you can see, and I thought it would be uh, an obvious pick to do a pick. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, enchant this diamond pickaxe, 30 levels. Oh yeah, we need lapis. I forgot about that. I haven't played in 1.8 very much besides this, so I don't uh, remember silly things like that. Um, I think it's 3, right? Alright, so let's go see. Let's see what we can get. Um, hopefully it won't be too too bad. I've been waiting forever to enchant something. Oh, you can't change Oh, Ooh, look, it's different. Oh, Fortune 3 and something. That's what I'm talking about, kids. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Boom! Oh, there it is. Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3. I could not have asked for anything better. Holy cow. Okay, I'm glad I recorded that. I was debating. I just going ahead and enchanting rather than actually uh, recording it and letting you guys see. But I'm glad I recorded because everybody would call bullcrap on that. I thought I would go ahead and try out the pickaxe that you guys take a look at. All I found was three diamonds, but that's enough to look at. While I was coming down here, I found a spider spawner and like an abandoned mine shaft. All right, let's get some diamonds. Let's see what we got from our first fortune three. Oh well, that was sad. Four diamonds from three. Well, that's pathetic. All right. Well, actually, I had forgot how the new enchanting system works. And um, I've already gotten the three levels back. I went and uh, mined some quartz in the nether real quick. And uh, so we're going to do one more enchantment. All right, I thought I would just go ahead and enchant another pickaxe because why not? Uh, we got the fortune one, but I need a good pickaxe to work with. And I noticed when I left that there's an efficiency one, so let's see what we'll get. Ah, uh, just efficiency four. That's okay, it'll crush through stone. All right, so that's two enchantments and four Weasley diamonds. So, um, all right, back to future Caleb. All right, thanks, Caleb, from the past. All right, so, um, as you saw with Caleb from the past, uh, the first enchanted pickaxe I got was this Fortune 3 Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, and I didn't upload it, but I got two more, or I didn't put it in the video, but I got two more. 
I got an efficiency four and another efficiency four. Uh, I wanted to, to get a working pickaxe, and if I had gotten it, I would have uh, put it in the video. But I wanted to get an efficiency four on breaking three, but uh, as luck would have it, I just got those two in a row. And they're still good. I mean, that means that me and Matt can what both do one. Okay, I tried to type sleep there, guys. <laughs> Matt had a stroke today. Uh, so... You can see Koala Bear's playing. She's my girlfriend. Uh, she's playing on the server because she wanted to be on here for some reason. But she's literally 80,000 blocks away. We'll never run into her. And the only reason I let her play on here is because she's actually pay paying for the server. Uh, me and her play on another server and I pay for it. But uh, And it's uh, 256 gig or megabytes. 256, gig 256 megabytes bigger. Wow. So it's a good exchange. Uh, so I let her play on here because she wants to play on a vanilla server, even though she could just play single player, but whatever. Okay, so the first thing I did, uh, I was experimenting with some railroad tracks, trying to make make something cool, um, and I want to have like a fully automatic, interesting um, minecart system. And so the way this works is I'll speed it up a little bit. I'm gonna take uh, if you know what what this is, this is a timer. I'm gonna speed the timer up a little bit. Um, which I wouldn't advise doing in the real thing, but uh, alas, this is to illustrate. All right, so what's going to happen is uh, something you're going to find out is I know something is about redstone, and I'm learning, and I've al I've always had some information and stuff. Like I know some stuff. I'm learning more now, but I'm never going to know what any of this stuff is called. I know some mechanisms, and I know they all have names. But I'm sorry, I'm not going to... They're arbitrary names for the most part. Some of them reflect real-life mechanisms, but for the most part, they're arbitrary. So, uh, I don't know what that is. I know what it does. It makes a lever function like a button. For our purposes, this is the lever. Um, this is just a basic timer. Um, I think it's called an Ethonian uh, clock. I think it's inspired by Etho. Um, but I'm not completely sure on that. Uh, so, what, what basically happens here is imagine like some farm maybe an automatic wheat farm, and the wheat ends up in this chest, all right? And so, for our sakes, let's say the feathers is... A, so, okay, it's a chicken farm, okay? The chicken's feathers go into the chest, they go into the hopper, and then, of course, the hopper goes into the chest. So what's going to happen is the chest will be here, and the intention is that this clock will actually be uh, five stacks of blocks, um, but... For now, it's uh, one stack just to speed this up to show you. And so after that cycle, it'll go here, and then it will unload. And you'll see it'll unload. I'll speed it up a little bit. Okay, so it's got, let's see, 10, 9, 8. And you're going to see what happens just watching the left side. It takes off again. So it's empty, and it takes off. Uh, okay, so what it'll do is it'll go back there, and it'll fill up. Now, the problem I was having with this, and if you know a solution to it, that's better than what I came up with, let me know, is uh, I, I looked for ideas and stuff, and there were ideas on how to make the unloading part, but none on the loading part. And so I wanted to make it so that it would take off when it got full. So like the chest would be like, okay, I'm full, and take off. But all I could think of is for the chest to take off when the hopper got empty. So the chest would come here, it would stop until the hopper had emptied. However, if this were an efficient farm, like the chicken farm will make, or the wheat farm will make, this hopper will ideally never be empty because there will just be so much stuff for it to go into it. And so I guess I could customize some farms to where they will be empty, but these chests in our storage room will hit a, a point of super saturation where they can't store anything anymore. So the problem is this will never be completely emptied, probably. And so this will never take off because if this is never empty, the, cap the comparator won't turn off and the redstone... Uh, will not activate the rail again. So the best way I can think to do it is to set up a clock that is long enough to allow for this hopper to drain a full row of items. So it's going to send five stacks, and it will actually be slightly faster. The clock, because of unloading, um, by the time it comes back, if it were to upload, it would already be halfway through the clock. But it will still be more efficient than anything I could figure out. So... I don't know if any of that made sense. Did that all seem like it made sense, Matt? Um, I'm not really redstone-minded, I guess you could say. Okay, alright, so if you don't know how some of this works, 
I'll just I'll just walk you through it real quick. Uh, it's really easy, it's super easy. Everything on here is is pretty basic. So I haven't done anything extreme yet. I'm not quite ready for that. Uh, so we've got these two hoppers leading into each other. This is a basic clock. This is probably my favorite clock so far. You got the comparator out of the hopper. You got these two blocks, solid blocks, no glass or steps or anything. You got redstone here, two sticky pistons, and a redstone block. And then they can both feed into their own individual things, actually. So you could, there's ways to do it where both of them will have a function. But for my sake, I just wanted it to function like a, a lever. So uh, it just has to have an on and an off. And so it feeds into this. And I don't completely know how this thing works. I just know that it works. And basically what happens is when this turns off, this redstone block will go off, this will turn off, and this torch will turn on. This torch will turn off. This tor torch will turn on. And then these two torches will cut each other off. And I think this is where the button function happens. And so this will be like a button rather than like an actual lever. And you can do this with an actual lever if you wanted to. Um, well, if I had a lever, I would show you. But hopefully you just believe me. Um, Jeez. I want to illustrate it so bad. It's, it's fun. Okay, so here's, here's how it could work. If this was a lever, the redstone torch basically... Boom, it would induce it. You can't tell because the minecart's just sitting there because I turned off the rail. But uh, basically, if you watch, push the minecart back real quick. Enjoy. Back to the, there. Okay, so watch. And it's like a lever. So see how it works? And then, uh, but, boom, leather, 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 whatever. Uh, so, leather, leather. And that's how that works. And it works like a button, and it will launch the chest down here. The chest will unload, and that's that. So if you have a better way to do it, let me know. Like I said, I'm just toying with stuff so that when we make our home, um, I can do something interesting uh, with some transport. Um, every time I would go into the nether, for some reason the server has lag uh, going between like lo rendering chunks, I guess, chunk rendering lag. And so on the other side of the nether, because of where we built our portal, there's always creepers and zombies killing me. And I have yet to actually die, but I've gotten close. Although I think in the last episode I did die, I don't remember. But uh, there's this dispenser here. I was just toying with if items can be dispensed into the nether, and apparently they can. So, uh, I haven't, I just tried that today, so I haven't had time to let ideas formulate yet. But I didn't know if, uh, I heard that items could be sent through nether portals, but I didn't think it would be be that easy. I thought you'd have to do something weird, but the dropper will just send the items right in. Here, I'll show you. Um, you probably, you all probably know how this works already. Here, send back real quick. I am. Okay, and then watch. So, the torch just won't shoot out on the other side. So, see, it won't be here. I'd go in the nether and show you, but then I'll have this rendering lag. lag. I added some sweet detail to this. Yeah, it looks pretty uh, unique. Because it's scary, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. I like it. Oh, wow. I like this door. This door is much better than the acacia door. There you go, guys. You happy? I said acacia, right? Um, acacia. Yeah, yeah. You stop complaining about it in the comments, all right? <laughs> no one comment. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I built a couple more things. We have this pumpkin farm. Um, the most important for our house building is the snow farm over here. It's basic snow farm. I won't even explain how it works. If you want to know, comment. Basically, snow goes into there. It comes into here. Oh, and the re I'll show you why I put this piston. Uh, for some reason, snow gets caught here. And when it does, you just, boom, knocked into the hoppers. And then I'll show you how the snow system works. Uh, I think there's plenty of snowballs up there, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so no. we're going to have to make literally a lot of snow. Like, oh, can you go grab some snow from there real quick? Just the snow yeah, that's I, in the uh, chest. Yeah, yeah. This is going to work pretty weird, and I'll, I'll show you guys how it works. Oh, and I enchanted a sword, but it, it was literally a level 1 enchant, and it's so great. And uh, What is it? It's a level 1 enchant, iron sword with sharpness 2 and unbreaking 2. Level 1 enchant. Okay, so this is what I do. You just grab these, grab that. Here, grab the... there's the uh, snowballs. And the That's enough, probably. Alright, so you see, guys, you guys see what I did? Now, what I'm trying to do is rapidly make snow blocks. And, okay, this is not how many would actually be in here. Hopefully, this would be full. But, we're literally going to need thousands of snow blocks. So, this is what the point of all this is. It won't look as cool right now, but uh, let me show you. 
basically I'll just click one, 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 shift click one, one. Oh, well. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> All right, and then that's it. So you guys see how it works. I don't need to need to show you more. And then you can just put all those in there, and then the supplies go back in there, and that's how it works. And the reason, I mean, we're seriously gonna have a lot of snow, so you may think that's ridiculous right now. The yeah, but... system for crafting snow blocks, but I'm not kidding when I say it's gonna be a long, long night of that stuff when we finally get the snow cracking. Um, mm -hmm. And basically, the reason I had this, it was actually like hoppers all the way down. Uh, but I took it away to make the snow golem hop. Or no, actually, no, to make the uh, cobblestone farm. Uh, the way it works, uh, well, obviously, you just put snowballs. So, uh, theoretically, like, I would be sitting here crafting snowballs, and Matt would be uh, harvesting them. And he'd come over, and he'd drop them. If this chest was full, he'd put them up here, and then up here, and then up here. And so every time, I could just break this chest and harvest the snowballs, and it'd be pretty easy. And the idea is that hopefully I would only have to break half the chest at a time if Matt can move fast enough. Now, I have one more build to show you. Uh, this cobblestone farm, pretty easy. Uh, all you do is that, 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 uh, not cobblestone. Did I say cobblestone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did. Uh, I just made it a three thing so that you can go fast. I'm using a diamond efficiency four, so it goes pretty, occasionally you have to wait, but I didn't want to build it four long just because I didn't want to. Actually, I built it and then I thought, you know, maybe I should have gone for it long, but if you're not using an efficiency 4 pickaxe, it literally, if you're using the iron, like, I'll show you. So if I AFK'd myself here, it would be no problem. And uh, then all the cobblestone, there's the obsidian back there so you don't accidentally break out the back panel. And then it all empties into here. Uh, we haven't used them very much, so that's, not, that's why there's not much turnout. Are you in bed? Mm-hmm. Uh -uh. All right, and then we have just one more thing to show you. I think I think that's about it. Um, this sh this episode has been all showing. Yeah, it's show and tell, show, show and tell, tell episode. Do. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, it's what the episode can be called. Show and tell. Okay, so I've been planning for the house a little bit, and <clears throat> none of this will make sense, but it's okay. Uh, I've slept out here some. Okay, uh, there's parameters for the house set up right now. And that's all fine and well. And you don't need to know what they mean yet. You can guess. Guess in the comments. Yeah, tell us what you think it means. All these parameters mean. You can probably figure it out if you're if you're on top of things. But if you see the diorite marks the parameters of this structure. It all makes sense soon because I'm hoping we'll move fast on this build. But as I said before, we need... Tons of literally supplies. tens of thousands of blocks of supplies. It's going to be massive. So, and the snow is not the easiest thing to get, but it's probably easier to get than like if we were building with obsidian or something. So, all right, it definitely is. <laughs> Even if I made an obsidian generator. Um, so, what this is is marking out more stuff. Um, what's going to happen is we have this tunnel uh, that we're going to dig out here, and uh, the tunnel isn't actually integral to our build, but uh, you'll see in the long run. Tell us again what you think it's for when we're making it. Uh, but we're about to big, dig out this tunnel. This is the very bottom. This will be the floor, but not even really the floor. It'll be like the bottom, but the floor will be the next block up. So it'll be the bottom, but the floor will actually be two layers, so uh, it'll make sense once there. Uh, and this is the very top. This is the roof, not the ceiling. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, and then this is the middle of the structure, and these are the sides of the structure. All right, and so it's going to go, and we're going to dig a tunnel through a build of this mountain, and it's going to go all the way over to here, and then it will spit out on that end. And so that's what it's going to be. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, and dig out part of it now, and uh, I guess you guys, you think, I don't think they want to watch us digging this thing. It's going to be no, a whole lot of digging. It's going to be quite I honestly fun. wouldn't. Yeah, I'd, I'd unsub. All right, so we're going to just get to it, and uh, we'll show you guys what happens when we're done with a few, a little bit of it. All right, so here's what we've dug out so far. Uh, we decided to come in a little bit so that the outside didn't look like, like a big gaping hole, but eventually it will uh, anyway. Um, but we'll, we'll do this little part when we're more done. And uh, we'll probably actually seal that off over there. Um, we haven't done much. This doesn't this doesn't look impressive yet, and it won't until we've actually filled it in. But uh, 
I'm not going to tell you much, but parts of this are going to get filled in. Um, I'm carving out a tunnel. Um, first of all, I'll show you. I stumbled upon this. I don't know if we showed it in the last episode, but I know in the first episode we said that we thought there was a zombie spawner near us. I think we looked at it, but it might be a part of the footage that I lost. But uh, as you can see, I had already found it and put the torches. We had found it and put the torches on it a long, long time ago. Like that was a week ago. And uh, so here it is. So I actually I saw it and I'm like, okay, this is gonna mess up my building, which it won't. And so I'm trying to decide if we should just go ahead and destroy it or utilize it in our build somehow. But I'm hey. Uh, you're locked in now. <laughs> but I think I think we should at least leave. I don't think we should destroy it because we don't need to. And maybe uh maybe we'll use it in our build somehow. Yeah. And so here's all this tunnel. I've dug out so far, and I'll go ahead and tell you, this is the floor, and then this is block one, but it's going to go up one, it's going to go up, uh, so this is block one, two, and three, it's going to go up four more blocks, so it's going to be pretty big and crazy, and it took me a while to do this, just counting it out perfectly uh, took a while, so hopefully I'll get the hang of it before I start doing it, and it goes out to over here, uh, maybe. Yeah, and then again, like like the other side, we didn't want it to be a big gaping hole, so we stopped at. If you remember from above, there's the lines that that show the uh, the middle, the middles, I guess, uh, and that's where we stopped at. So there you go. So that is this thing. If you know what it is, you I'm tell me. I'm gonna be surprised if someone knows what it is. Yeah, if you know, I mean, yeah, if you know what it is, like even kind of. Like if you rel ballpark close, then I'll be proud of you. All right, so we've shown Very a lot, proud. and a lot has happened this episode. It was all review, pretty much. Yeah, the review episode. I hope you guys don't mind that. Let me know if you don't mind the reviewing. I'd like to know if you like it actually. So don't just tell me if you don't like it. If you like it, let me know. If you don't care if it's one way or the other, let me know too. All that stuff. <clears throat> But yeah, I showed you. Did I show him everything? I believe so. I think that's it, guys. Is that all you got? That's all I got. Alrighty, seize your destiny. Strike, subscribe, and become a hero today. See you guys later.